and welcome everyone. Today we'll be looking at the 1366 S2, 1366 from Everlotus, our own brand. It comes in black and it comes in yellow. Now let's give you a little look around of how this looks. Okay, so over here, this is where the media panel is, all the media controls, media playing controls. This is where all the power functions for the the device itself so you know plugging in lights on the the top row charging any device of your choosing using the usb ports charging the device this device itself using that and all the switches and this is where the speaker is where the sound comes from and on this side there is a light bar and on top is a torch all right so You'll notice that uh, as I switch this on, it'll go straight to radio. And this particular device, the S21366, otherwise known as the Camel Torch, does in fact not have any Bluetooth functions. So, you'll switch it on. Goes to radio. Now the reception's a little bit poor uh, where we are, where we're filming this, so you won't really hear much. But let's go through the buttons at least. So, this right here, as you can tell, is the pause button so let's click that quickly okay there it's paused and it's playing now the next button in this case would put you through to the next programmed in channel previous one previous button will take you to the previous channel pause play all right uh, literally in a few seconds I'll show you the USB um, plugging in the USB flash drive and I'll show you how simple it is. Okay, in a moment. Okay, here we are. All right, so let's plug this in over here after we switch this on. Okay, so you'll see it'll jump to radio as we've said before. Now, once you plug this in, your flash drive. switches automatically okay so this gives us a nice opportunity to show you the stuff at the bottom at least while the USB is going all right so you hold it in hold in the previous button and you'll get the corresponding function at the bottom so all these functions at the bottom you have to hold in the button long press it then you'll get the sleep the volume up the FM scan the volume down so you'll see hold in that volume goes down all the way to zero, hold the next button in, volume goes up, etc. Okay, let's press play, there we go, as easy as that. All you gotta do is plug it in and it jumps directly to the USB automatically. Now, you press mode now, you'll switch back to the radio. You'll see the megahertz, meaning the frequencies, that means radio, switch it back. You get USB, MP3 is what's going to be displayed. Okay, now let's jump back to radio so I can show you the FM scan. So, hold in the pause play button. And what this does is it scans through all the frequencies and programs in the different channels that I showed you in the very beginning. Okay, so that's the media side of things. And uh, we'll look at this panel on the side. Okay, now let's let this run and see if I can turn the volume down. There we go. So now the volume is down entirely, so that won't bother us while we're doing all this. Alright, so the power is on at the moment, which means the power light is on. Switch it off, the light goes off. Now in order to charge or use anything on this panel really, um, from here up, you need to have the power on. So we'll see. These switches, for example, this LED light switch, this corresponds to the light bar on the side. So you'll see we flick that on, yeah, on, and then LED light on. See, now the light bar is on. Uh, you can either switch that off specifically, or you could just turn the power off. There we go, and then it's off, off. Let's flick that back, okay. Now, this torch on top, you'll see that when I do that, Switch it on, flick it to the front. It's supposed to be on, but it isn't at this moment because the power switch is off. So let's flick that on, and there's the torch. 
Easy as that. All right. Now let's turn all of that off. Now you can keep this on if you'd like. I personally just like to keep it off. <laughs> Own pet peeve. Now you'll notice here that the scanner has finished, so it's programmed in new frequencies, etc. Let's turn the volume up, see how it sounds. There we go. A little bit better this time, but as I've said, the reception is not very great where we're filming. Alright. Okay. Now next I will show you guys what all of these mean. Okay. Here we are again. So I'm going to show you the charger that you saw in the very beginning of the video plugged in. So there's the power on and this corresponding green light on there shows that the power is indeed going through this charger. So if that light's not working, there's a good chance the charger itself won't work. So here's the plug and this is what we plug it into. This port at the bottom that says DC 5 volt input. Okay. Okay. Now you see, once it's plugged in, the charging light should be on. So let's show you the lights again. So you turn that on, the power is on, turn it off, it goes off. The light lights up once it's charging. So then you know that the charger in fact works. So you have the little light on top there that shows if it's, if it's green once it's plugged in. That means it's power going through and there it's charging. Now you'll notice that this charging light corresponds to that charging light. So you get um, a little indicator of the fact that this device over here is in fact not fully charged. All right, so this is the little multi-charger that comes with it. There you'll see the solar panel and the two light bulbs that come with it. Now, this you can plug in either in this port or this port. You can charge two devices at once. Now you don't have to use this multi-charger, of course. This is just for your convenience. And uh, you can plug in any charger you might like. Uh, next I'll show you some lights plugged in. Now the package comes with two light bulbs, a charger, a multi-charger USB, and a solar panel. And that's the solar panel. That's the two light bulbs. There's the multi-charger. And this is the charger. All right, so let's show you some lights. Okay, here we go. So as you can tell, we've got both lights plugged in here. As I've said before, the package comes with two lights, two LED bulbs. Now you'll notice specifically that these are four volts um, power. Essentially it receives four volts. So if you have anything that um, any devices that puts out more than four volts, then there's a good chance that if you plug this light in, this LED bulb specifically might well end up malfunctioning, end up breaking. So just look out for that, but shouldn't be a worry. Just remember four volts on this device, the S21366. Okay, so you'll see that the lights are off at the moment despite them being plugged in, but all you have to do is flick the power switch. There we go, now the lights are on. Uh, there's a little showcase, there's the torch on as well. And here is the LED light, light bar. All right, so that is everything that comes with the device. The solar panel, the charger, the two light bulbs with the packaging there, USB line, device itself. And that as well is the torch, the light bar, and the light bulbs, all the lighting capabilities of this device. Now, there's quite a bit of cord on either one of the, the light bulbs, so go crazy with it. Thank you guys for watching. This was the S2 1366, the Camel Torch.